Here's Johnny! Okay, this question's been asked of me a couple of times, so it's about time I did this video. People want to know how they can get Tractor Pro to run automatically, uh, basically uh, in cruise control, so they can set it and basically walk away and have it do this. Right? Did you see that? It's in auto mode. One song finished, the next song started, it loaded the next song automatically. How do you do that? Well, we are about to find out. Okay, this is my wedding background playlist for this weekend. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find out, or actually mark the cue points on where you want the song to start fading in. Okay, obviously that's the start of the song. So it's just like recording a cue point. If that's where you want the song to start fading in, all you got to do is store the cue point. Right, bang, it's stored. Now, if you go over here, what sort of a cue point is it? Well, it's a fade in cue point. Right, so it turns orange. So now you know it's a fade in cue point. And the same thing at the end, you know, where do you want the next song to start fading in? Well, I want the next song to start fading in there, right? So as soon as that gets to there, the next song's going to start fading in at its fade in cue point, right? So it's just like setting a cue point and it's a fade in cue point or it's a fade out cue, cue point. Right, it's as simple as that. So all you got to do is go through your whole playlist and tell it each song where you want it to fade in and where you want it to fade out. Right? So it sounds like a bit of a hassle, um, but it's precise. Uh, okay, your next step. Next step is to crack open a can of Johnny Walker and have uh, a bit of a drink. Now, hope you can follow the little mouse up here in the corner. If you go up here and into mixer mode, it gives you a crossfader and you tell it what to do. Auto crossfading time. Right, I've got it set on 5.5 seconds. You can set it anywhere you want, up to 90 seconds. Right, so set how long you want the crossfade to last. And then how smooth or how sharp you want it to do that. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate the differences. You work it out. Whatever you like. Try it on smooth, then try it on sharp, and then put it where you want it. You saw where I had it. I had it about here, and this was on about five seconds or so. Right, so mixer, crossfader. Right, next step. Okay, you go into loading. Gives you all the loading options here. Down here you will find one that says activate fade in and fade out markers. Right, so obviously if that box is not ticked, it's not going to recognize the fade in and fade out cue points. So at the start of the night, I always click that, activate it, and close and uh, you're basically ready to go. It's running now in internal mode. So, that is about it. You've got to make sure you've got your cruise control set on. And um, that's it. I use, like I say, I do it during uh, wedding, weddings, uh, background music. So I can obviously do a walk around, right? And it should load the next one in, right? There you go. So that's it. Now, you can run it just the cruise control alone. Um, but what it'll do, it obviously, unless you've got the boxes ticked, to activate fade in and fade out cue points, 
if you're just running it on Cruise, what it'll do, it'll play the next song in your playlist, but it will go all the way to the end of the song. And as we know, sometimes these songs have a big, long, massive sting on the end of it. And then there's a massive gap in between. So that's why, make sure you activate your cue points and then run it in cruise control. And that's basically it. It'll do that for your whole playlist. I think I've covered everything. If there's anything you're not clear about, just uh, better put a question down below and I'll try and answer it or someone else might be able to answer it. I uh, hope that helped. Practice and enjoy.